How to create portfolio website in Webflow Beginners Tutorial 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about how you can use Webflow as your website creation software and we're going to be making a great looking portfolio website using this amazing software. So please do make sure to watch this video till the end and listen to all the information I have to provide you with because if you do that properly and actually watch this video till the end then I guarantee you that fully till the end you're going to have the full knowledge on how you can use this amazing website called webflow.com to actually create an amazing looking portfolio website. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Now to access and to actually come to this website, what you're going to do is you're going to write www.websiteworldmedia.com com slash web flow okay that's all you're gonna write that is only what you need to write and you're gonna enter it and once you enter all of that obviously you're gonna be redirected to webflow's main website okay and they're gonna ask you to sign up and everything and it's gonna be that simple okay so again www.websiteworldmedia.com slash webflow that's about it and if you don't want to go through the whole you know entering the url into the url tab thing you could just go down to the description and there's going to be a link at the top of the description so just go to that click on it and you're going to be redirected to the top of the uh, to like this page on webflow and it's this is going to be great okay so once you're over here basically we're going to get straight into the you know main stuff that we're here to talk about so first of all let's talk about webflow okay what is webflow you know it's a great website you know build with power of code without writing any take control of html css and javascript in a visual canvas webflow generates clean semantic code that's ready to publish or hand to developers okay and you can start building right away for yourself it's really simple it's really easy and as it says build with the power of code without writing any absolutely uh you know simple things simple stuff to have and you can do all this tracking all all these different things that you want to with webflow you know webflow is used by more than 1.7 million designers and teams to collaborate on and scale beautiful websites in a completely visual canvas absolutely no coding needed so everyone can focus on what they do best and obviously you have creative power that goes way beyond templates the weblow designers let you build any website that you can imagine with the full power of html and css and javascript in a visual canvas and as you can see you can create content driven designs you know design your website around any type of content your site needs launch custom e-commerce stores you know build an online store that sets your brand apart and you can monetize members only content you know grow your audience with logins and gated content and you know also, you can also make it pop you know create immersive experiences with interactions and animations so pretty you know easy pretty basic and pretty nice stuff optimize for marketing backed by design you know launch new campaigns faster optimize your site on the fly and connect your website to your key marketing tools you know collaborate on the content by publishing updating and editing content as an intuitive editor optimize your seo by fine-tuning seo settings and markup to rank and search engines build flows with logic you know capture information sync your cms and connect all your sites and then build faster with your basic marketplaces you know from templates to experts discover everything you need to create an amazing site with webflow so you know there you have it so now let's move on to the pricings to discuss you know the other in-depth features so we're going to go ahead to pricing and once you're in pricing obviously you can see find your perfect plan okay so you have five different plans basically to start yourself off but that obviously depends on whatever type of website you're going with if it's like a general normal decent website then you know it's for five different plans you know the starter plan which is totally free the basic plan which is $14 the CMS plan which is $23 business plan which is $39 and the enterprise plan okay and the monthly is obviously a bit more the monthly plans are like $4 more each but if you actually want to make an online store do a business and sell stuff around then obviously we're gonna want to switch to the e-commerce plans and uh, in the e-commerce plans you know you have standard 29 plus 74 and advanced 212 now we're gonna be making a portfolio so we don't really need a lot of that and we're gonna go ahead and start for free right away so log into my account okay so obviously we're gonna have to we don't actually have an account so we're gonna go ahead and sign up so don't have an account do that 
and obviously it's going to ask you your name now it's going to ask you your password email now i'm going to be using a temp now for myself okay uh, i have my own reasons for that and i don't recommend that you use it because uh I, like it's not very reliable so obviously once you've entered your details you're going to go ahead and click on create an account now once you do that here you are which best describes your role okay now obviously we're going to be making a portfolio so the portfolio relies on what we do so let's say we're an entrepreneur okay who will you be building your websites for now it could be obviously yourself and your business how comfortable are you with html and css so you could say you know you're unfamiliar familiar coded part or i've coded a full website i'm gonna go with what i am okay i'm familiar with it but i've never coded so i'm gonna click on continue what do you want to build for today portfolio see it's right there the option is there you're gonna click on finish and once you click on finish obviously it's gonna take you to the building now the building of your website is actually where you know the fun stuff begins so uh once we go here let's load in and here you are get started with webflow you know it's going to give you a whole tutorial i'm going to exit the tutorial because you no know, not really necessary and once you do that it's going to bring you here okay so first of all you're going to go ahead and choose a proper full flesh theme for yourself okay and a theme is uh you could say really important and why do i say that a theme is important it's because it depends on whatever type of look you're going with. So these are, you know, the blank themes with just layouts. These are proper templates that you can choose from. Now there are free templates and then there's paid templates. Now the free templates look amazing, but if you want to start blank, you could do that totally dependent on you. I'm going to go with this one. This one looks pretty nice. So once you do that, just select it, click on create site. And once you click on create site, obviously there's like tons and tons of other features and pops that you can uh, check out, you know, so they also give you a whole like guide down here you could change color fonts classes replace images modify layer connect to site dynamic data etc so look at this like there's so much design and art and you can just keep it this way and just change the text so like you know it's your basic drag and drop editor just double click on it and as you can see you can change the text to whatever you want and then obviously over here in the nav bar like if you've used photoshop or any other drag and drop editor you could see that this compares a lot to that and once you've like done with all your creating you're just going to go and click on publish and publish to a selected domain obviously this is a free domain that webflow gives you and once you do that and it's published yeah you're going to be good to go and make sure everything is saved and there you have it so that's how you're going to make a proper portfolio website using webflow now if you enjoyed that video please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future please let me know down in the comments below and i will make more for you and again if you were to go over how you're going to come to this website all you're going to do is you're going to write www.websiteworldmedia.com slash webflow okay just write that click on enter and you're going to head straight to their website and again if you don't want to write the whole thing just go to the description go to the link at the top click on it and you're going to come straight to the website so yeah that's how simple it is so yeah basically that's about it thank you for watching till the end and i'll see you all of you next time goodbye